Hello guys, I'm filming the Fan Heights Steakhouse, which is here on the Carnival Sunrise and all Carnival ships. For the Carnival Sunrise, this is on deck three inside the Radiance dining room and a little entrance in here. Just like the front check-in area. Look at the wine. This looks like where the food come out at very nice so this is like kind of in the front of deck three like i said inside the radiance restaurant and then there's a little bit of entrance for you to come inside so nice and intimate but again this is the steakhouse on the carnival sunrise hello guys good morning and welcome to key west i have my shirt on i was just here in september but we're about to get off the ship um and we're going to do a little walking around downtown and then we're going to do a hop on hop off bus but we're only here today until about 1 p.m so we have you know very limited time to be able to go out and do uh, tours, excursions, you know, just walking around, scenic things. But I uh, wanted to take you guys along. Like I said, I was just here in September, but now I'm back. Catch you guys later. Peace. All right, guys, we are in beautiful Key West. Just got off the ship. We're going to walk around, like I said, a little bit. And then we're going to do a hop on, hop off bus. Ah, beautiful. Hello, hello, hello. Hi, social media. Hi, Susie. Hi, Susie. Um, 90 minutes. I'm going to tell you some amazing things about Key West. It's stop 1A, which is Truman's Little White House. Then we have stop number 5, which is the Hemingway House. And just up the block on the other side of the street is our lighthouse. Then stop 11, which is the southernmost point and our butterfly conservatory. Those are our most popular stops. What I usually recommend being you all have, well, you have a short layover today, doesn't everybody? Okay, because what I would normally recommend is do the full loop with me. You get a feel for everything, know where things are, then get an idea of where you might like to get off, you know? So um, there's that. So anywho, I'll try to be as entertaining as I can, but I think I got a wild group of people, so I'm very lucky. Then we have the oldest house to my right, 
built in 1829 by a Captain Wellington. He lived there with his wife, ten daughters, and only one bathroom. Ooh, wow. I know. I even I feel for the guy on that one. Look at hands. See it? <laughs> oh, wow. Got it. Everything to the marina is right here behind me to the left. Then these boats over here on the left up ahead, they alienated themselves. No, they didn't. It's actually our private yacht club down here in the U.S. And this yacht club, it really isn't what like you know. It is who you know if you want to get out and see it. And uh, I don't know anybody, so I won't be seeing it anytime soon. And so how we built this, we were dredging the waterways and we were just digging up this stuff, sand seashells and coral and dumping it on the side of Key West. And on our island, unobstructed by any other street, so they're almost 90. Look at the little babies. This is our NUS one sign, zero mile marker sign. I'll tell you, I did discover when Jimmy Buffett was here, it only takes a 916 screwdriver. I was